Ukrainian military defeated a group of the 810th Marine Brigade of the Russian Armed Forces in the Kursk region. The battle took place near the Russian village of Kochuk in the Koronevsky district. As a result of the battle, a large number of Russian Marines were killed or wounded. This is reported by the Russian publication ASTRA, citing one of the Z channels. Z channel wrote about the defeat of the Russian Marine Brigade in the Kursk region. According to the Z Public, Northern Channel, a group of the 810th Guards Marine Brigade of the Russian Armed Forces suffered losses in the Kursk region. This, as they say, happened near the village of Kochuk in the Koronevsky district of the region, 25 kilometers from Lugov, the report noted. The public page that distributed the message positions itself as a channel of the North Group of Troops. It wrote about the defeat of the Marines allegedly based on messages from the occupiers serving in the 810th Brigade. The 810th Brigade reports that they got into a fight in the forest area near Kochuk. There are many dead and wounded. We will take revenge, the public writes. At the same time, ASTRA notes that it has not found confirmation of this information. Let us recall that on August 18 it became known that Ukrainian soldiers captured the commander of a company of Russian Marines. The occupier had previously fought against Ukraine as part of the Wagner PMC, and then signed a contract with the Russian Defense Ministry. In Russia, it began to be openly discussed that Ramzan Kadyrov's Chechens had betrayed Russia and entered into a separate agreement with Ukraine, according to ZRA media outlet. It is noted that Russian Z military bloggers claim that Kadyrov's men from the Akhmet unit backstabbed the Russians, avoiding a clash with the Ukrainian armed forces during the attack on the Kursk region. A former Wagner mercenary, who goes by the name Alex Parker, has shared on his Telegram page that Kadyrov's forces were well informed about the Ukrainian advance and intentionally allowed them to proceed. The deal was reportedly facilitated through an intermediary, Hussein Jambatov, a former Ukrainian soldier who later returned to Chechnya. Russian military propagandists have expressed outrage, accusing Kadyrov of betraying Russia by orchestrating a secret non-aggression pact with Ukraine. This alleged treachery has fueled claims that Kadyrov's men abandoned their positions and avoided combat rather than defending the Russian frontier. Recent Russian media reports have further criticized Kadyrov's units for reportedly fleeing from the border and failing to engage in the ongoing conflict, abandoning their strategic posts. This situation has sparked heated discussions and raised concerns about the reliability of Kadyrov's forces amid the larger backdrop of the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Kadyrov's men understood the balance of forces and did not want to lose their fighters by simply allowing the Ukrainian armed forces to enter Russian territory. The puzzle is complete, writes a Russian military propagandist, accusing Kadyrov of betraying Russia. Recall. Ukraine's operation in Kursk Oblast has allowed it to seize temporarily the battlefield initiative in part of the front line and contest Russia's theater-wide initiative.